So here at the front of the house, uh, there used to be a pond here and filled that in and made a really nice walkway with pillars and cable railing over here. Um, filled in a lot of the landscaping here as well as over at these doors that came off of the kitchen made a little usable spot where you could set a chair and make an entryway that was not used before. So come inside here, the main entryway of the house, um, down this hallway. Um, originally there were windows next to these doors that we took out. And there were also was light switches here that powered both bedrooms, so anyone, especially children, could come flip the lights off and on, which was fun. Um, all new paint in here. We made a boot bench and a place to hang your purse. Jack picks a different spot right here for shoes. And then next to the entryway with the door over here, uh, there's a spot for hanging keys. And for us, it's hanging leashes and a nice little spot here too to put your sunglasses coffee mug, different spots here. All right, moving into the bedrooms. This first bedroom here, which I call it Coastal Calm, that was my design um, feature. And we did replace the door hardware and the doors to black to tie it in. We got new matching nightstands over here, new headboard, um, used the matching lamps that were here before, um, got rid of a dresser that really kind of choked out the room. So just kind of refreshed in here with fresh paint. And another big feature in this room is the fan because there was no fan in here. It was always super hot and as well, there was no light here in the middle. There were just the two lamps. So we added that and that's been a great feature in here. And then moving into the bathroom, we kind of did more just like a facelift because we kept the existing tile in here and the um, shower as well and kept the footprint. So we got a New vanity here, which is much more user friendly and updated the paint with some fresh pictures, a good mirror and some reused the um, hardware that I had replaced, I think about a year ago. So that was kind of the starting point for this bathroom and then kept the shower because it works just fine. So this is the first ba bedroom in bathroom right when you walk in. Second bedroom which I call this one more of gold and bold. I wanted to do a bit more color in here and do some fun gold. So in this bedroom, we have um, a cool ladder that was built several years ago that was up to a loft. It's a great space for kids to pack kids up in, which we have three twin mattresses up there. And then in here, we kept the bed, moved the dresser. It used to be over here, and so it really kind of choked the space. Um, and then we have matching lamps and some great pictures and lots of storage in here. And then moving into the back, back room here, we kind of did the same flow as the other one with keeping the tile and the shower and then a coordinating vanity and um, nice artwork and a great mirror in here. So starting right here, I'd like to notice the floor. So we originally had this whole first floor was in this tile, but we had a pretty extensive termite damage over by the windows. And so we had to come up with a solution. That's what we came up with, with this awesome epoxy poured floor, which starts right here at the kitchen. So that's a huge feature of the house. And then in here, goes straight into the dining room. And we kept the table and the light, just moved the light over just a little bit, about nine inches, I believe. So it made a much more usable walk space between the kitchen and the dining room table. And then going in here is to the living room, which that's where the damage to the floor was, it was right under here. And so this spot, we kept it fairly similar to what it was before. Um, this was Sharon's um, favorite spot to sit, Nick's mom. So we kept a few of these pieces that she loved. Just a great spot to have a morning coffee, hang out as a family, and enjoy the beautiful view. And the end tables here also 
have um, capability for plugging in, which I know is super awesome um, when you're charging all your devices. And then moving in here, this is what we call the family room. And this floor carries right into here. These were existing awesome doors here, kind of separates the space. And so we completely flipped the layout of this room. Um, on this wall over here was the TV. And so we moved it over here. Um, and then we got all new furniture and kind of made this more of the focus here with the already existing built-ins. And then another big thing we did is we replaced up on the sides here, they were some kind of like slat walls and that match now over here, which if you look up, um, this whole wall ties together and that used to be the loft all the way to the right and it'll make sense when we get upstairs, but it used to be an open loft um, that was unused. So we've got several spaces in this um, space that you can utilize. We've already had lots of snacks and meals actually at this little spot here, which Nick made this table, works awesome. Lots of reading here in the corner, lots of great spots to gather as a family. So if we move on this way, we'll keep um, on the first floor here. We'll just kind of scoot by these beautiful stairs and I'll wrap back to that here in just a minute. You can see the awesome view outside, the pool right there. And so this first bathroom, we actually did this a little while ago, um, which was the first part of what we finished and also the first epoxy floor that we did here. So this is the pool bathroom. So it gets used a lot coming in right from the pool. So you got a great little spot right there. And we have a guest, Sawyer the pup. Way. Just a few updates in here. New, um, some things here in the entry, reused this and the mirror. That's a great spot. This is not the typical way people enter the house, um, which you can, but most use that back entrance. And then a great feature here that we added is a bench and the pool towel storage because you can, people never knew where the pool towels were because they were kind of tucked back. So it makes a great spot to come in from the pool, grab a quick towel, little place to put some shoes right there. It's just a linen closet. So it was chopped full of randomness and we made it um, organized and easy to see So and labeled. So we'll see if that functionality continues, but we are trying to make it organized for future guests and for the cleaning companies. Hopefully it makes it easier for them. Steps that were actually built all the way in Kentucky and then disassembled and put together here. Originally, this was a spiral staircase, which is pretty to look at, not very user-friendly, and it's gotten pretty rickety, and with having children and people that have mobility problems and trying to get your luggage, it's not um, very easy. So this is a solution we came up with, which is one of the favorite parts of this house. So I will take you up the stairs so you can see how beautiful they are and very easy to go up and down. We built a window here, so it lets a lot of light in coming in from the pool. And coming up the top of the steps, this is what used to be the loft. And so what we did is this was the existing bedroom, so we'll take you into this bedroom. So this just had one um, queen bed in here in this whole room. And so what we did was got a nice headboard and really good nightstands for dressers. And then over on the other side of the room, we added a bunk bed. So the kids are super pumped for this spot. That used to be a closet, took the closet out and then added some open shelving for storage and a closet rod. And there's a chair you can sit in. And then also we added lights in the bunk room on the side so you can have little reading lights and they're rechargeable, which is kind of fun. So there's no electrical to go with that. There's also storage underneath the bed and stairs to get up. This has already been a crowd favorite for sure, this room. Fresh paint, 
beautiful picture that I reused that was in the hallway. Most of the inspiration and new lamps that are touch as well as charging capabilities. So moving here into the hallway, um, this is where it used to be the loft. And so we put up walls and added an awesome master suite up here. So there is a pocket door here to go into the room. And added a queen bed, beautiful nightstands, highlighting the existing wood walls and the beautiful ceiling that was already here and you just didn't notice it with the change of view. It's a design feature and have a nice little chair in the corner to be able to have your morning coffee and hang out. And this would definitely be a spot I would see that Sharon would have spent a lot of time in this chair looking out in this spot. She was the inspiration for this room. So going out of this room into the hallway, which again, this used to be a loft, we added a nice hallway with a reading nook right here where you can, good spot to read a book in between the bedrooms and a bunch of kids and we've got some blankets here as well. And again, another beautiful view out here. And then this, um, was a very outdated and not user-friendly bathroom up here even for a one bedroom and so this was the complete gut bathroom up here the only thing that stayed in this spot was the um tub i believe so we poured another epoxy floor in here took out the closet that was here in the corner added a very user-friendly larger vanity than was there before we did have to keep this one wall because of plumbing, so I had to work around that. Um, but we highlighted it with some beautiful shiplap and a navy color, gold accents, and then this absolutely gorgeous shower tile. Um, is the big design feature in this bathroom. It is gorgeous, and that was actually the last thing Sharon got to pick out with me, so that's super special. We've got lots of places to hang towels over here. Frosted that window for privacy, storage for all the different people using this bathroom because there could be, let's see, up to five people in beds using this um, bathroom. So it needs to be very user friendly. We also kind of last minute added another towel bar behind the door for extra towels because there gets to be a lot of pool towels up here so hopefully that for function so that wraps up the bathroom upstairs that was a huge undertaking of this for sure